In this video, we'll be looking at circular permutations. When objects are arranged in a circle, there's not a first position with which we can start. So we must place an object to get started. Just like if we were making a beaded necklace, we would place the first bead to start. And then we can use linear permutations to finish the problem. The example that we'll be working with is how many ways can six objects be arranged in a circle? So we're going to place our first object and there's one way to do that. And then once I place that first position, then I can work with a linear permutation. And so I have five more objects. So we have five ways to choose this next object that we can put down. And our fundamental counting principle says we're going to multiply these ways. And then once I put that object down, then I only have four left for this position, and then three for this one, two, and one. So the product here is 120. So the big thing to remember then when we're arranging objects in a circle we have to take one of the objects away and put it in the first position. And then that allows us to work with a linear permutation. And then we just do a factorial like we normally would. Let's look at another problem. How many ways can five different people be seated at a round table? So we're going to take one of the one of those people and sit them down at the table. And there's just one way to do that. And then we have four people left. And we can do that with a linear permutation. So we have four ways to seat the next person. And then three. And then two and then one. And our fundamental counting principle says these are all multiplied. So I have a total of 24 weights. Okay,